never a home, just a place with sad memories. Read the fiction notices like no one notices. Oh, we all think free. I thought my home was the street. Okay, so first you want to get your two clips, put the one you're transitioning from first, and the one you're going into second. I've already got them lined up to where I want them at, so I'm just going to go into my last frame of the first clip, take a screenshot, I'll take that and put it in Photoshop Mix. And go to blend, I mean uh, cut out, go to smart or basic, it doesn't matter. Make sure you're on subtract so you can just remove that portion. It doesn't got to be perfect. Actually, it shouldn't be perfect because we're going to do a feather on this so it's not so perfect, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to go to the lasso and just trim a little bit off so it's at least even but give it enough room to feather out and look like it's a part of this mirror. And the same principle applies if you use a window or a TV or an eye or whatever. Go into refine, go to feather, just put your finger on the feather button and drag up just a little bit though. I'm somewhere between two and five. It all depends on your specific frame. Then go save it. Then it'll be right there in your photos. Drag it into your timeline. Go ahead and position it over your second clip, the one you're transitioning into. I like to make these kind of quick, so I'll do about a second. Then you're going to want to go into that freeze frame and reposition it correctly so it's in the same position as the frame of the video. Then go into your video that you're transitioning to, resize it so it's right underneath or over the place that you masked out. This is all based on personal preference. You can do this a number of ways. This is just one of the ways I find easiest. And go into the clip that you masked out. Set a keyframe at the beginning and then go all the way to the end and position it how you want it to end. So basically with the whole object out of the frame, whether it be a mirror, a window, TV screen, I want to make it pretty much disappear so it shows it transitioning to the next clip this way. Sometimes you'll have to rotate or whatever, so you'll have to compensate for that too with your Transition clip. Then once you do that, you'll go into the clip that you're transitioning to and you'll make it follow that movement so it stays in the frame the whole time. So again, make a keyframe at the beginning. And you're going to want to kind of keyframe it on the way. I mean, you can try to just go to the end to put a keyframe, but it's, it's kind of hard doing it blind like that. There you go. Was never a home, just a place with sad memories. Read the fiction, notice. Like no one knows